We explored the Irish capital Dublin and we are so excited to show you the busy Grafton Street and the lively district Temple Bar with its lovely cobblestone streets and typical Irish buildings. Join us also when we visited an ancient and beautiful cathedral, discovered an excavation in the middle of a supermarket and made a lovely Viking tour where we boarded an amphibious bus floated along the Grand Canal Basin. Then we saw what is undoubtedly the world's largest needle and of course we enjoyed tasty food in a typical Irish pub. So please sit back and enjoy this great journey with us. Today we are here in Dublin. It's the first time that we've been to Ireland actually and um, yeah, we have only one whole day to explore the city and now let us begin with the Grafton Street. Grafton Street is in the center of Dublin and it is so colorful with all the shops and the live music playing in the street. But first we had to design and buy a Lego figure as a souvenir. Here it is, the most famous figure in Dublin. Molly Malone is known for the song Cockets and Muscles, which is the unofficial anthem of Dublin. It tells the fictional tale of Molly Malone, the wife of a fisherman. From the most famous figure to probably the most iconic district, this is the neighboring Temple Bar. And after the Grafton Street, we went to Temple Bar, which is an area here in Dublin. But there also exists an actual bar with the same name, which is here. It has such a nice and relaxed atmosphere. On this beautiful sunny day, there were many people on the streets and just having a good time. We also joined them, we had an excellent ice cream and just watched the people passing by. And then the Dublinia was waiting. It is a museum which showed what it's like to live in medieval Dublin and how it might be as a Viking. And it also has a decent viewing platform to see a bit of Dublin from above. But we were also very interested in the building right next to it. This is the Christchurch Cathedral and the cathedral was very beautiful from inside and it also has a crypt and it was very large. It's the largest crypt here in Ireland and formerly it was a marketplace. And yeah, um, there's also another cathedral, the St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is very famous. But I think one church for today is enough and we had to another interesting point. Yeah, it's touristy, but we will go to the Viking Splash Tour. I think it gives us a very good overview of this city or part of the city. And um, the Viking Splash Tour has very good reviews in Dublin. And um, also, I think Norwin will have fun and we also will have fun, I think. We did. It was really fun and so interesting to see the different neighboring districts. And of course, the highlight was the splash into the Grand Canal. I think these shops are typical Irish. At this little, it is possible to see the remains of an 11th century house. These were discovered during excavations and are now on display for everyone to see under glass section in the supermarket's floor. Then it was time to have dinner. We had it in a bar next to our hotel. I love it that you can have excellent food in a pub. We had a burger, homemade stew and fish and chips. 
and we washed it down with a cold craft beer. Delicious. This is how Dublin looks in the morning. Um, it's very peaceful, not many people around and um, yeah, I try to show you some more interesting things. Look at this thing, it calls the needle and um, yeah, obviously because of the appearance and it is 120 meters high and behind it's a Dublin portal. It connects Dublin with New York it would be very interesting to see, but unfortunately it is closed. It starts at 1 p.m. and our flight back goes at 1 p.m. So we cannot make it, but maybe next time. I'm here at the campus of the Trinity College and this university is the most prestigious university here in Ireland, I think. And yeah, it's very yeah, quiet here. It's an advantage that I've been here very early, but actually it's eight o'clock. And um, yeah, the buildings are incredible, beautiful. Um, have a look. And I guess that's it. Um, our journey has come to an end. Our plane will depart in a few hours. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.